paid it. I paid it about as much attention as it probably deserves. Oh, Chuck. Not bad. Hey, guys, welcome back to your Lake Fork Guide. You just saw my man Heath Taylor reeling and dealing out here on these bass fish. That's just a little guy. But today we're going to talk about a specialty bait on the Carolina River. We're going to Mr. Heath Taylor from Smash Tech. He's the sole provider so when you want one you got to call this guy i'm talking about a carolina rig a bubble fry in the summertime that was torn that's a torn up one <laughs> can see that bubble fry is a very effective bait on a carolina rig and it's cloudy today it's kind of a nice break we got a little bit cooler weather today but hey it's been two weeks in a row of nothing but 100 plus degrees super hot outside and uh th that bubble fry just still catches them this what's that water temp about 90 87. 87 so it's a little bit cooler today water temps have been hanging around the 90 degree mark and every year no matter how hot it gets the bubble fry just continues to catch fish after fish day after day on a Carolina rig out deep in the summertime. You know, it's 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 kind of akin to, to a stick bait or a Senko in a lot of ways, and that it's just so simple. Uh, at the same time, there's some little subtleties to it that make it really special. But it's basically just a little miniature version of a stick bait that's got all these little these little sticks sticking out of them. What do you call those? Appendages. Appendages, Maybe. just little, little, knobs. little knobs, there you go. But the key deal on this, and I'll try to get y'all to see this, Right here on the bottom side of it, there's little holes in it. And that traps air, and if I'm not mistaken, Heath, does it release bubbles when it's going through the water? Yeah, between that and between all the knobs, it's yeah. gonna trap air between them. That's why it's called the bubble fry. It actually creates a bubble trail under the water and gives it a little bit of flotation on that Carolina rig behind that big weight. So that's the basics of uh, the basics of the bubble fry. And I'm gonna give you the, the guy who owns it and makes it right here, standing right here behind me, and this is his box. And so I'm gonna to get to kind of show you the deal here. He's got several colors in this box. Uh, we got watermelon chartreuse and what do you call this color? What do you, what's blue the, fleck. blue fleck right there. You call this one red plum? Bug. Red bug right here. Green pumpkin and chartreuse pepper red. Chartreuse, chartreuse pepper red. with red flake, green pumpkin. Got a green pumpkin with red flake. Yeah. But uh, he's also got his egg sinkers for his Carolina rig and swivels and beads and his hooks. So he's got like the ultimate bubble fry box right there pretty cool even got the old logo on display when you close her up there see that so if you want to set up for a good bubble fry deal just buy all them colors and get you a box and have Heath send you a sticker and I bet if you bought all those colors at once it'll probably send you a free sticker won't you Heath? I would now on the setup the Carolina rig itself you know for a Carolina rig I like a really long rod and the reason I like a really long rod is because you have a lot of line out when you're fishing out deep and you make these long casts these Carolina rigs Plus you got all this, what can be slacked right here between your weight and your bait. So one thing that I like to do is I like to throw it on a long rod. And it doesn't have to be the stoutest rod in the world. Like this is a heavy rod, but it's got a moderate fast tip. You could even do like, a, this is an eight foot heavy. You could do a medium heavy, 710, 711 medium heavy. I just want that long rod to pick up all that slack that can be out there when you have that much line out and allow me to still get that fish loaded up from a distance like that. Uh, but this is the Six Sense Lux Rod. And if you guys are wanting to try these out, go over to sixcentsfishing.com. That's linked below as well. When you get there, make sure you use that code, Your Lake Fork Guide, on the checkout screen. Get you a 10% discount. As far as uh, the line goes, this is 20 pound fluorocarbon from a main line. And then on my leader, I like to use about 17 or 15 pound monofilament. That mono floats, that's going to help keep that bait up off the bottom, which is a big deal when you're Carolina rigging. 
you know one of the deals on lake fork we throw a lot of big baits we throw a lot of big worms in the summertime and, and this is a relative i mean it's really a small bait i mean it's a very small how long are these about four inches mm -hmm. this is a four inch bait it's really small but one thing you can do that's pretty cool i'm gonna go ahead and walk you through it right now you can take one of these ends right here and it's got a little seam right there at the end of it and just twist it it twists right off dead even you can take this other in here twist it and do the same thing now what i'm gonna do is take some mended swim bait glue that you can buy at a lot of different tackle stores you can order it off tackle warehouse mended comes in a nail polish bottle nail polish bottle with a little brush i'm gonna put a little mended on this one piece right here and then i'm gonna take and put them together and after you let it sit there for a few minutes like once you kind of got it stuck together you can just lay it down let it sit there for a few minutes it'll cure up and it's on there pretty solid uh and now i've got a full eight inch bubble fry which is a much bigger profile like i said around lake fork man we like to throw some big baits and that's kind of what we do but uh one of the key things that's a big deal to me on any carolina rig uh and moreover on the bubble fry especially because it is a small bait is using just a small hook uh this is one of Heath's hooks that he uses what what is this Heath? Two round bend, just a just old straight shank round bend, light wire, two odd hook. So a very small hook relative to some of the stuff we normally throw. And I like to throw a uh, three odd owner EWG with a thin wire. Basically the same thing. I have a little wider gap on the one I use, but it's almost the exact same hook. Definitely the same size and weight. And that's the important part. When you get that lighter hook, that bait's going to have a lot more action. It's going to get up off the bottom and drift around a lot more. And you've heard me say that time and time again in this video. I think I've mentioned it three times about getting that bait off the bottom. That's an important part of it. Getting that bait up, letting it glide around, do its thing. You know, it's a do nothing action, but at the same time, it does glide around and wander behind that weight on this bubble fry. You know, as far as areas, uh, it's just your basic summertime stuff, you know, humps, the, the top sides of main lake points, uh, pond dams, all kinds of stuff like that. Basically, wherever you've got a high spot, a high flat spot with very deep water, very close by. Right now, uh, Heath is fishing a main lake point out and there's some shell mixed in with it. Anytime you can find a shell bed mixed in there, that's never a bad thing. Um, and that's kind of where he's been getting some bites right here today. We got, we got bit on a, what was that earlier, a hump we were fishing? Mm -hmm. So we started out this morning on a hump and got a few bites on that and there was some shell mixed in on that as well. And now he's back here catching another one right behind me. Oh, jumper. That's one of them smallmouth largemouth right there. That sucker came three feet out of the water, folks. There he is. Good chunk, huh? There you go. Another solid fish on the bubble fry right there. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, this thing is so dang effective on this Carolina rig in the summertime. This daggum thing is so effective in the summertime on a Carolina rig, you just wouldn't believe it. Good solid fish. Good job, Heath. I'll give you this one a little ear scratch for you. I'll come back and see you again. Here's another deal. When that end gets tore up? Yeah. What do you here, do? let me see that. So that's the color cool part about this bait right here. So he's been fishing this end. It tore out of the hook right here now all he's got to do is literally just turn it around because it's identical on both sides and he's got a brand new bait so you don't go through a lot of them i mean i think you've probably caught eight or nine fish on them today yeah, 10 I maybe think i've used maybe three baits two or three baits and one one of them was just because the fish slung it off when he was out there yeah. so you go through very little they're a durable bait they get a lot of bites they catch little ones they catch big ones i mean it's just a tremendous summertime bait guys he threw me a favor while we're sitting here bud talk to him about the retrieve i mean i know it's real simple but you make, I mean, long cast is a big deal. Yeah, long cast. Uh, you want to make sure you get that bait way far away from the boat so you can cover you know, a lot of ground. If I can, you know, I, some people will drag them like this. I don't like dragging them like that. If I, if, you know, sometimes you have to just the way the boat's. You mean with the rod up? Yeah, with yeah. the way the boat's. I like, when I'm fishing it, I like keeping my rod down. Drag it down low. And just drag it. And that helps you feel, you know, with that Carolina rig, with that big weight on there, guys, uh, and we're using, was it, three quarter ounce tungsten? Mm-hmm. Uh, we're using three quarter ounce tungsten today and when you drag it to the side you're going to be able to feel everything better and you can feel everything down there and the more you do it you'll be able to tell oh that's a shell bit that's a log 
uh, you know, that's whatever. I mean, you'll just get used to the different things that you feel down there and it kind of gives you a lot of information about when you're in the sweet spot and it helps keep your bait in the in the strike zone, so to speak, doesn't it? Yeah, basically, you just, you want to feel your way through there. You don't want to just, you know, some people will, will fish one way too fast and they'll, you know, they'll just sweep it across. Yeah, specifically up, on the shell beds. And up, like, And what happens is if you sweep it across real fast, your weight's going to come off the bottom and then bounce back down. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not really what you're wanting. You're wanting that bait to just, or the, the weight itself to just drag along the bottom and telegraph exactly what that cover is. See right now, like I said, my rod tip is just bouncing through them shells because that, that weight's just clanging off That's the one thing when we, when we are fishing shell beds on Lake Fork when I've got customers, you know, one thing I'll tell them is if you ever feel bump, 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 you're going too fast. You want to feel the bumps kind of one at a time. You want to slow down and feel bump, bump, bump as you're bouncing off shell. Now that's a little bit specific to shell bed or if you're fishing some chunk rock you can do the same thing but you do kind of want to count rocks guys or count shells uh it is important to go very slow and, and when you and when you get that bite like mm -hmm. I said, a lot of times you'll feel a peck sometimes it'll just get heavy and start swimming all you do you know you don't reel down and just try to cross their eyes you know just just reel down into them and just basically like an exaggerated motion of your retrieve just sweep into them mm -hmm. Yeah, just kind of turn to the side, sweep into it. Make sure you load that rod up real good, but uh, you don't want the sudden jerk. Because, you know, again, you're using that light wire hook, and you're, you know, 20-pound main line, 15-pound leader. You don't want to put just a huge hook set, or you will open up that, that light wire hook a little bit. Yeah. There you go. I guess I better get up and fish a little bit, huh? Pretty good. Bubble fry. Well, there you go, folks. There's your few fish catches on that bubble fry from the day. It works on Lake Fork, too. Bill Wilcox is famous for throwing it on Cedar Creek. He won a bunch of tournaments. Cedar Creek, Ray Roberts. I mean, it just Wall works. Creek. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's just it, a bass is a bass, and they all love a bubble fry. It's, it might be the most consistent July and August Texas bait that exists. I mean, I mean you got a buddy catching smallmouth on them up in New Hampshire. It just catches them in the summertime, guys. Um, so check those out. Like I said, Smash Tech Baits is linked right below. Go check that out. Order them up if you need some. That man right there will get you fully taken care of. Great guy, Heath Taylor, and a great customer service. He takes really good care of all the people that order from him. So check that out. Try that out. Hope this helps you catch a few more fish in them dog days of summer. And we'll see you guys next time right here on Your Lake Fort Guys.